Number one, being quarantined. In light of the coronavirus, many countries have suspended work and classes, advising everyone to stay at home for their own safety. Self-isolation may be hard to adjust to at first, but instead of thinking, I'm stuck at home with nothing to do, try shifting your mindset to something more positive, like I can stay safe in my own home and spend time with my family. Or if you're alone, you can take this time to hone your crafts or develop a new skill. Make the most out of your situation and try to do something productive, like learning new cooking recipes, ending to your garden, playing with your pets, and reconnecting with your family. Number two, the risk of contamination. The coronavirus may be pretty contagious, but there's still a lot you can do to fight against the virus and keep yourself safe. Do you tell yourself, I will get sick and worry all the time? If so, try shifting your mindset I will do all I can to lower my chances of getting sick. Self-isolate, wash your hands frequently, drink plenty of water, practice social distancing, and always wear a mask when you need to go out. Three, hoarding and panic buying. While the public has been urged against hoarding and panic buying, the threat of a total lockdown has made many feel the urge to stock up on necessities. Are you making yourself anxious by thinking, I'll run out of stock at home during self-isolation? If so, it's better to shift your mindset into, I will use what I have, wisely. Assure yourself that you have everything you need for now because you've prepared for this. Avoid giving in to the widespread panic and be the voice of calm and reason. Don't buy more than you need, so there's enough for everyone else. Four, everything being closed. Because of the sudden outbreak, many businesses have been closed to encourage people to stay indoors. Many restaurants, bars, hotels, and others are closed, and even most major airports around the world have been closed with travel restrictions placed to keep all flights grounded. But there's no need to panic. Remember that all the most important places are still open. Hospitals, pharmacies, and supermarkets have been asked to continue operating to help us through these trying times. So if you ever need medical attention or more supplies for your household, you won't have a problem getting it. And five, all the uncertainty. It's okay to feel afraid about all the uncertainty around us, but it's important to remain calm and hopeful for the future. Healthcare workers are working hard to treat those infected. Scientists around the world are working to develop a vaccine, and governments all over the world are trying to alleviate public distress and manage the problem. Remember, even though you can't control the situation, you can control what you do about it. Seek information from trusted news sources. Be mindful of your health, Rest if you're feeling unwell, and check in on your loved ones. So how are you coping with the pandemic right now? Let us know in the comments below. Know that you're not alone, and with enough cooperation, kindness, and compassion, we can all make it through this together, one day at a time. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it.